Hello, I'm Thomas Greer, and today I will be showing you how to download, configure, and demonstrate PlanetPress Capture on the Go. The first step is to create credentials to register for the demo. And we do that by going to demo.objectiveloon.com. So that's demo.objectiflune.com. Of course, you'll see the following page. We're looking for the COTG online demo. It's the second one down in the list. Click the demo button and fill out the following form. The most important part of this form is the email address. You want to use your actual email address. It will not only send you the credentials to use to log into COTG, it will also direct the output, the demonstration output from the COTG demo form to this email address. So you want to use a, a real email address here. So you can select the uh, time zone that you're in, your name, your company name, a real email address, and then click Create My Demo. I'm not going to do it in this video because all you'd see is an error message saying that I've already registered for a demo. But what will happen is you'll get an email. Here's the email that I received, which has a couple of useful things. You'll want to save this email because it has the credentials you'll, you will use to log in to COTG. So for example, my username is this phony email address with this password. That's what I'll be using to log in to COTG. There's also a PDF attachment that goes through a lot of what I'm going to go through today, so it's handy to save that as a reminder. That's it for the registration process. The rest of what you're going to see is actually going to be done on my phone. So I'm going to pick up my phone and turn on AirPlay so you can see my screen. And now I'm going to interact with my phone. I already have Capture on the Go loaded. You're going to find it in the App Store. So I will um, show you what that looks like. Just go to your App Store. Also, it'll work with Android's Google Play. So. It's capture, one word, and then on the go, all as one word. And there we go. So simply install that. It's a free install. And once you're ready to run capture on the go, use the credentials that was sent to you in this email. So that's what I have here, that user, that password, and I'm going to tap login. By default, it's going to take you to a section of the application called My Library, and that contains all the documents that you're currently work with that you've already downloaded. Since this is a new demonstration, all you'll see is the user guide. I'm not going to go through it. It's worth your time to do so, though. It's a, it's a good user guide. What I'm going to do is go to something called the repository. I'm going to tap the menu and go to repository. What the repository holds is all of the documents pending for today's work. So think of these as the deliveries that a delivery driver has to make on his route today. Planet Press knows who I am. It knows which documents I'm responsible for and feeds them to my account. So once I log into COTG, I'm going to see all of my day's work. Simply tap any one of these. It doesn't matter. They're all the same uh, demo form. What you see now is a, is a link. This link is in the cloud, and there is some confusion and some fear around cloud applications. So you can explain that at no time is the document itself or any of the data behind the document ever in the cloud. The only thing that is in the cloud is this link to the document. So the only real data that is exposed to the cloud in this example is the delivery order number. Okay. So nothing else uh, is exposed to the cloud. Tap download, and what happens when you do this <clears throat> is it's a real-time link between this device and the Planet Press server software, which runs on-premise. And it's a secure HTTPS transaction, so it is as secure as um, shopping on Amazon, for example. So when I download, it's going to tell me that Planet Press generated that document and sent it to me and that it's in my library. You can either tap OK or Open. I'm going to jump directly into the form to open it. 
One nice thing about the COTG application is that it's a full screen application. So if you simply wait for a few seconds, that top menu bar will disappear, as it just did. If you need it to bring it back, you can tap near the top of the screen. You can navigate to different parts of the application. So if I go back to my library, we see the document that I just downloaded, and I can tap it to bring it up again. Now you can simply interact with the form. And as you do so, here's a couple of key points to mention to your client. This is HTML. What that means is it doesn't have to look like their document. If it's more beneficial because of uh, user preferences or screen size to make it more like an app where you step through various things and click to continue, or you expand and contract sections so that you're working with just one section at a time. All of that is perfectly possible with HTML within COTG. We can do validation, lots of functionality. So you know it's a good demo when they start brainstorming about different functionality. Because it's HTML, it's also responsive. So I have my uh, phone held in, I guess, what you would call portrait orientation. If I twist my phone to landscape, then maybe it's easier to work with the form, the form in that way. Explain that anything can be editable. If we want that quantity 4 to be editable, because maybe they, they want to only accept two cases and not four cases, we can certainly make that editable. We can put buttons next to it to increase or decrease the quantity. We can even have a button to add line items. So again, lots of functionality beyond just what you see with this simple form. Uh, I'm going to just check a couple of these. So the demo output should tell me that I received the top two line items, but I declined the rest of the line items. We can take a picture, and this is useful, for example, uh, in field service applications if they need to document the service that was done. In delivery applications, if someone says, hey, that, that's damaged, but I'm going to take it, but I want you to record that it's damaged so that I don't have a problem if I, if I need a credit. So I'm just going to take a picture here of a, a beautiful Christmas tree since it's that time of year. Happy holidays, everybody. And we can have as many photos as we want to. And unlike other eForms applications, this actually embeds this document, this photo, within the document itself. We can type in notes. We can do text-to-speech or anything that's part of the, of the device's built-in functionality. Let me actually type something meaningful like testing. We can have drop-down lists and floaters and menus, scrolling for data selection. Now, in terms of this demo, it will, as I mentioned, send the output to the email address you use to create your registration credentials. We've also included this, this client email. If during the demonstration you actually want to send the output to your client, you can just enter their email address. Point out there's also metadata that can be collected and transmitted back. Here we're using latitude and longitude, so very useful for interfacing with a roadnet, for example, or other routing applications. Signature, and we can have multiple signature fields if we need to. So maybe it's a scenario where the driver has to sign, acknowledging maybe, for example, that he, that he accepted COD, as well as the customer uh, signing that they received the items. And then it simply clicks Submit. And again, point out that when you tap Submit, none of this data is ever in the cloud. This is directly posting from this HTML form to the PlanetPress software running it on-premise. Now you notice that this is yellow and then it turns green. And this is a good point to explain in the demo something that differentiates Capture on the Go from other eForms applications, namely that we can work online or offline. If we're in offline mode, there's no data connection, you still have the full functionality of the form. And everything is stored and can be queued until there's a live data connection. Once there is a data connection, then it's transmitted back to Planet Press, 
and whatever happens next happens next. And I'm not trying to be ambiguous about that. You have the full power of Planet Press in terms of what happens next. All that data comes back in and we can use it to, for example, render a version of the document for storing into EDM software. We can generate emails. We can export that data and use that data to interact with accounting systems, EDI transactions. So the full power of Planet Press is behind processing what happens next. In terms of the demo, what happens next is we generate an email, as I mentioned. So I'm going to open up my email client. And wait for that email to come in. So here it is. Just tap to open it. And a couple things to, to mention here in terms of the demo. The email itself, where it says the capture on the go and the green check mark, all of this, this is HTML generated by Planet Press. So we can take anything in what comes back, compose it into HTML for email if they want the results to be in a nicely formatted email. We can also generate a, a PDF document and attachment, attach it, which is what I've done here. I'm going to download that PDF. And we can see that the items that we checked as received are yeses, everything else is noes, that we have the photo that we took, we have our note testing, we have the delivery date that we modified, we have all of the device information, and we have the signature. That concludes how to download, configure, and demonstrate Planet Press Capture on the Go.